Welcome to another Stage Analysis video. It's Sunday the 10th of September 2023. Just a, a quick note before I get started for the for the members. I'm traveling in Europe this coming week, so there won't be a weekend video next weekend or midweek video, as I won't have the ability to make them on the laptop. But I will be putting out the, the regular blog post, so you won't, won't miss any of the, the essential data that obviously I put out each week. So, right, let's get back to, to this. We've got the, I'm going to start off this weekend's video, as always, with the the major US indexes. Have a look through that before getting into the futures data, the bell curve, market breadth data, some of the, the stage two breakouts and strong volume movers for the week and the watch list stocks at the end of the video. So you can chunk that out using the chapters feature, bottom right of the video. If you wanna jump to a particular section, you'd have to watch the whole thing straight through. So however you wanna view it is up to you. Right, let's get going. So S&P 500, as always to begin with, continue to develop potential early signs of a, a base structure here. Still within stage two at the moment, it's been rising in stage two since the, the during may really started to break out earlier than that actually with the, the actual breakout was was late march where it regained the stage two level had an initial failed breakout attempt earlier in the year which undercut would have stopped it out on the investor stop area and then regained that stage two level in later march and started to move more convincingly into stage two in the in the later part of may so we're now in the, the first major base structure since the start of the stage two advance we had a buying climax and mac reaction secondary test so we've got the phase A events of a potential base structure. And we, so we're potentially moving into phase B of, a, of some kind of structure here. And at the moment, still early, still too early to be considered stage three at this point, although it's been underneath the, the 10 week moving average, which is still rising. You can obviously during a, a typical stage two advance, you'll see multiple moves above and below the 10 week moving average during that time and pullbacks all the way to the 30 week moving average in some cases. But we're still well above the, the rising 30-week moving average here. So at the moment, it still would be considered a reaccumulation base in stage two as the initial bias of a base structure when you're in is always whatever stage you're in. So if you're in stage two, it's a reaccumulation base to begin with until you start to see more characteristics of distributional behavior come in. And then on the opposite end of the scale, when you're in stage four, you would always initially think it's a, a redistribution structure. And still, you, until you start to see a, a change of behavior, some signs of accumulation appearing. So at the moment, as I said, still a base structure within stage two percentage of stocks has weakened off a bit to 38 percent above their combined um, percentage of stocks above their 50 day 150 day and 200 day moving average so this covers the entire us market the myc and nasdaq indexes combined data so it shows a different picture to what we're seeing in the s p 500 here it's been much much weaker in terms of on the on the rebound you can see the s p 500 is still only really in the, the midpoint of its its base structure here since the on the pullback whereas this data since the pullback is actually right down near the low so the broader market market showing a bit of relative weakness versus the S&P 500 here, which is still holding up in stage two. Drop down to the, the daily chart. You can see those characteristics again in a little bit more detail. You've got your buying climax here, your automatic reaction and the secondary test. So this is the start of our structure. We're still hovering, as I said, in the, in the middle point here, still sitting underneath the, the 50 day moving average and the 21 day moving average, just hovering under that at the moment and failing to, to pull back above. Percentage of stocks above their 20 day EMA in the S&P 500 to drop back down to 35.8 percent here so could form a higher low and continue back up it's come out from the lower zone and moved up so it's on a potential positive status but on a on a pullback if it does dip any further back into the lower zone would would turn negative again but at the moment within the the neutral range here between the plus 180r level and the minus 180r level so between those two levels we consider it in a, a neutral zone in the short term if we look at the, the nasdaq 100 similar kind of pattern appearing same sort of time late march with the the early breakout this was the the stronger of the indexes and broke out more convincingly into stage too much earlier than the other areas of the market so it's had a really strong initial stage to advance and pull back into this first base structure so again a buying climax or macro reaction and secondary test has developed and once more we've got the 
break the structure down into into two halves here you can see we're still sitting just in the around the midpoint at the moment just hovering around that 10, 10 week moving average and percentage of stocks above the 200 day moving average in the NASDAQ 100 is at 66. So still a healthy percentage at the moment has come off a little bit here. So potentially coming out from the upper zone and back down. So it's a little bit of a, a warning here, potential bear alert type signal. If it does start to drop any further than that, then obviously that would be more of a sign of weakness developing. But at the moment, just, uh, just on alert for some negativity there with it coming out from the upper zone back down into the more broader range. But as long as it's above the 60% level, it tends to be in a, what we consider a, a healthy state. As obviously there's two thirds of the of the market at the moment at 66% in the NASDAQ 100 in above their 200 day moving average. So that's a, a healthy sign still. Look at it on the daily, again, similar as we saw with the S&P 500, the buying climax or macro reaction secondary test area. So just moving into phase B at the moment of this developing structure and going sideways, percentage of stocks above their 20 day is at 51%. So short term, sitting around the 50 day and the 21 day and 51%. So very, very neutral position at the moment in the middle range on the short term so the 21 day being the, a one month moving average in here so look out to the nasdaq composite again very similar behavior we've got much less above the 200 day moving average at only 32.73 percent but this didn't get as strong as we've seen with the nasdaq 100 and a lot of this is due to the fact that it's heavily weighted with a, a large amount of biotechs and pharmaceutical and the general the healthcare sector has the has the largest weighting in this one it's the biggest sector of the 11 sectors and we've got a lot of those have been been particularly weak and lagging so it's had a lag on the the overall nasdaq breadth but as you can see the nasdaq itself has not been hindered by that so obviously they don't affect the indexes as much as they do with the with the breadth which is more of an equal weighted behavior there so again first major pullback in stage two here developing a base structure still above the rising 30 week moving average and just sitting around the flattening 10 week moving average here so again early early part of a base structure developing at the moment so in a very neutral position in stage two currently nysc on the other hand showing a bit of different behavior here we've had a failed potential breakout attempt recently so we had stage two breakout attempt it's come back in would have knocked out traders at that point but the investor method stop loss would still be holding on so technically you could still argue it's a stage two pulling back but it's come back into the the broader range so if it can recover back through here then obviously could could go merrily on its way into stage two the volume has been declining on the on the pullback back below the, the level here but this is our major area of support resistance which has been in effect for the last two to two to three years now so it's a big zone we need to start clearing this this 16,000 area and uh, roughly around that in order for the broader market to move more convincingly into stage two but 50.75 percent above their 200 day moving average in the NYC so much more neutral position than we're seeing in the in the Nasdaq there so if we look at the, the Russell 2000, again, similar behavior. We saw a, a failed stage two attempt to come back into the 30 week moving average and back into the base structure once more. So again, technically, hasn't been stopped out yet so you could still argue if you were in a stage if you bought the stage two breakout on a, a daily breakout weekly breakout you could still from the investor method um, still be in that but from a trader method you would be you'd be knocked out of that at this point you would have stopped out yourself or got out early as it starts to come back into the range and back below the the breakout level so at the moment if it can recover back through the, the recent highs here potentially could could return to stage two again but still in a very choppy zone which has been a strong area of resistance over the course of the last year so until it can clear that more convincingly back above this 200 level then obviously it would be a lot it's, it's much weaker here and could even if it starts to drop back below the recent pivot low turn back towards more negative behavior back towards a, a weaker stage one and into stage four again even if it starts pushing further down there and underperforming since that that breakdown in march when the the, the bank 
um, the, the regional banking crisis began. So we're still in that zone. And at the moment, we've only had a, a small upthrust out of that. So it hasn't yet cleared that major area.